Uh, while the guns are trying to dry off right now, I'm going to show you something else, something that I've recently picked up. And actually, it's actually a good way to uh, kind of upcycle um, plastic bottles. Uh, this is something I got into on my own. Nobody else has actually really did this yet, but it's really great. So you take a vitamin water bottle or Gatorade bottle or Powerade bottle, doesn't matter. If you were to take off the wrapper, you would see that it has this really unique and unusual pattern uh, and molded into the plastic. That's where I started to get the idea, you know, making little canisters or making additions to guns to them or other props, uh, steampunk jet packs. You could do a lot because there's a lot of different types of bottles out there. So what I'm going to be toying around with right now is some vitamin water bottles that I had set off to the side for my recycle bin. Um, one of my uh, people in my group, uh, Bucho Black, has made a steampunk hand grenade or I should say uh, uh, a riot canister, a riot dispersant. Um, he used impact foam, just like the stuff that you would find in it, uh, either on the floor of your um, your weight room or uh, in your garage, that low impact foam. You can buy a lot of the stuff here from Harbor Freight. That's your best source of a lot of your tools. Uh, so here's a picture of the bottle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first clean it out. Uh, even though I've cleaned it out before, it's been out here for a little while. So I'm going to clean it out. I'm going to take off the wrapping and then I'm going to sand it down just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit to get the, some of the glue off there. Some bottles, uh, the wrapping just falls off, but most of them you have that glue behind. I haven't really found anything that actually gets it off effectively without melting the bottle. So it's been a learning process. And don't get frustrated if you are you know, working on a gun and things just don't turn out the way they are. Expect failure. It happens. We all learn. We all learn from our mistakes. So that's the best way to learn. That's how a lot of the best uh, people out there in steampunk, they try out new ideas and sometimes things don't work out. But just that, you know, the most important thing is, is don't give up. You give up and you're not going to be able to accomplish, you know, a gun like this or any other, you know, fantastic things. So work hard and don't give up. I'll be right back as soon as I get these bottles sanded down. And uh, by then, I can go ahead and start doing the urban buff technique after we get these bottles painted. Alright, this is rub and buff. You can buy this from Michaels or you could uh, get it from Hobby Lobby or, or even over the internet. Uh, I know Amazon has it, eBay has it. Uh, it is made by uh, Amico, which is a uh, art company. One uh, tube of rub and buff will last you a long time. Uh, I will show you that real soon. It is a little pricey, it costs about $5.15 a tube, but I had a tube that lasted nearly an entire year. So as I mentioned earlier, I got my bottles uh, drying up right now. And this is their first, uh, probably second coat. So they're going to dry. And uh, I'm going to find a little place where I can sit down and I can uh, show you how to use rub and buff. All right, one thing I did notice, and this happens from time to time, sometimes you just miss a few areas on the gun. So you have to go back and uh, touch those areas up. Now, some people, they can use uh, acrylics or testers, but once again, I found a, another little solution, really simple, and you get the same paint color. Simply put, you use Gralon Fusion from the spray can. From the spray can. You spray it into like a, uh, a little plastic or paper plate and uh, with that you can use that to touch up on your paints just make sure you use a nice little cheap brush a little art brush uh, that you get uh, like 20 in a pack those little plastic bristles uh, because after you use the spray paint um, paint with that uh, the brushes are not going to hold up that well
With any gun that you spray paint, there's always that chance you're going to be missing spots. And this new technique I found is probably the best. You can also buy um, kind of like hair-like brushes for cheap as well. Once again, just visit you know your local hobby store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You get those brushes. So far, I've been doing this for about maybe two years, three years. Uh, I specialize in painting the, past, the plastic guns because they're so easy to work with um, and doesn't cost you an arm and a leg to buy the materials. Once you, well, you have to buy start materials such as, such as the, uh, you know, the Krylon Fusion and your rub and buff. So, but uh, Krylon Fusion, for these type of guns, uh, they'll last me eight to 10 guns. Um, rub and buff, <laughs> like I said, one can last you almost an entire year. You just use little dabs. I'll show you that really shortly though. Yeah, this stuff dries really quick. You just you know, spray a little bit down, get the areas of your gun that needs the paint. This, these little guns that I got from Walmart, they they look great. It's a real shame that they stopped making them because um, I would have bought it more this year. I bought them back in like uh, 2011, 2000, uh, 2010. So. Another thing you have to have with doing all this is patience. It's a virtue. If you don't have patience, you're going to have some trouble.